The following information is provided by Panduit Corporation to aid installers and technicians working with the patch runner and angled patch panel cable management system. The information will cover the system components and basic cable routing guidelines. System Components The rack is a 19-inch by 7-foot EIA rack. Panduit part number CMR19X84. The system utilizes vertical cable managers and doors that are 8 inches wide and 12 inches wide. The patch runner vertical cable manager part numbers are PRV8 and PRV12. And the doors are PRD8 and PRD12. The patch panels are Panduit Minicom Angled Modular Panels, part number CPPLA48WBL. This panel can support up to 48 ports in two rack spaces. For the creation of horizontal cable pathways, the system utilizes Panduit Cable Troughs, part numbers NCMHAEF4, mounted directly above the switch, and NCMHAEF2, mounted at the top and bottom of the rack. At the top of each rack is a two-rack space fiber enclosure, Panduit part number FRME2. On top of each rack is cable trough, Panduit part number CRTW, that is used to route distribution and patch cable. The equipment being used and mounted on the bottom third of the racks is the Cisco 6509 switch. Fundamental Cable Routing After all system components have been installed, cabling can begin. A few basic guidelines for patch panel routing are Patch cords are to be routed directly horizontally from the patch panel into the finger opening that is aligned with the patch panel rack unit. The patch runner cable management fingers have been designed to support patch cords as they transition to the vertical pathway, eliminating the need for horizontal cable managers. Properly routed cables should lay over the finger without crossing over one another. The angled panel minimizes cable strain by promoting proper bend radius of the cable as it goes away from the patch panel. This requires that the patch cables on the left side of the panel be routed to the left and the right side to the right. Do not route cables on the left side of the panel to the right and vice versa. Guidelines for cable routing from the switch are as follows. Method 1 requires that all patch cords be routed to the right in one direction. This will keep the fan blade clear of cables and allow it to be easily replaced if the need should arise. To begin populating the switch, start with the lowest card, or blade. To begin the connection of the patch cords, start with the ports on the right side of the card. As more patch cords are added, work to the left until the cards are fully populated. Once the ports on the lowest card are full, move up to the next card and repeat the process until you are finished. Method 2 allows patch cords to be routed to the left and right of the switch. Note that this method does place cables in front of the fan blade that would need to be removed if the fan blade needed to be changed. Fundamental Slacking of Patch Cords When using slack spools, the patch cords must route up and over the spool. Do not wrap patch cords slack around one spool. Patch cord routing examples. Routing on one rack going from switch to the left side of the rack utilizing the middle cable pathway. Routing on one rack going from switch to the right side of the rack, utilizing the center pathway and spools. Routing from switch on one rack to patch panels on another rack, utilizing the center pathway and spools. Routing from switch on one rack to patch panels on another rack, utilizing top and center cable pathways.
Review of cable routing with optimum patch cord lengths. The goal is to use standardized patch cord lengths that allow minimum slack buildup by relating the blades on the switch with the corresponding patch panels. The patch cords from the top blade on the switch route to the top patch panel on the rack, repeating the pattern in descending order. When routing the patch cords between the switch and patch panels, begin by connecting the patch cord to the outermost port of the switch. Then, routing to the innermost port on the patch panel. Port assignment should be done so that the patch cords routing from the left side of the switch correspond with the left half of the patch panels. Patch cords routing from the right side of the switch correspond with the right half of the patch panels. Using the proper cable management system guidelines that were shown in this presentation will provide users with the ultimate cable management solution that satisfies functional requirements and showcases the network. Thanks for watching.